So we've been living in our house for about 10 years and we didn't really touch the bathroom. It's typical builder basic. It had the basic laminate counters, 12 by 12 floor tiles, and it was really time to give it a refresh. I renovated the bathroom as part of the One Room Challenge, where bloggers and designers transform a room in six weeks. I've always been drawn to black and white rooms in general, so I knew I wanted to incorporate that into my daughter's bathroom. She's 13 years old. We started with the Schumacher wallpaper, and I was dying to use it. It wasn't a big splurge because there's only one wall that we did, and that's what kept the bathroom from not looking too chaotic. She loved it, I loved it, and we brought in black and white accessories, and then we made it a bit softer by adding in some pink and some lush green. We knew we wanted to keep some elements like the vanity because it had a lot of storage in the drawers, but we wanted to update it by painting it a matte black and changing out the hardware. And of course, we splurged on the quartz counter, which is an investment, but it's so easy to clean up and it's great for kids' baths. Then we found this black matte faucet from Brizo, so that was a bit of a splurge. I have always loved marble hexagon floors and had been putting it in clients bathrooms so I thought this is a great space to use it. So it's a oriental white two inch marble mosaic and I think it really elevates the look of the bathroom. The one thing that we saved also was the tub. It was in pretty good shape after 10 years of use and the tiles, which are simple six inch white square tiles, which the builder installed 10 years ago, are still in style. But the one thing that we did do to really upgrade that area was to install the Brizo matte black shower system. I love the rain head and just the sleek design. It's very Scandinavian and very minimalist and it just has a beautiful look to it. It was fun choosing the art for the bathroom with my daughter. She actually picked all of the pieces. I believe that every room needs art, even bathrooms, and it tends to get overlooked, but I think it can really elevate the space. I think people can do a refresh of the bathroom like this for around $5,000. If you keep certain elements that are in good shape and then spurging on some elements that cost a little bit more, but you really love them. So the budget was a bit of a challenge, but I think we worked within it and ended up with a room that my daughter and I both love.